how to get clients. It's the number one, the number one question that comes across my desk. All right, what's going on everyone? I hope you're doing well. And in this quick video, I wanna talk with you about how to get clients. It's the number one, the number one question that comes across my desk, whatever. Um, it's what all of us want, so especially if you're a health professional who wants to make a, a bigger impact in this world with your coaching, with your amazing expertise. Um, you want to know how to serve more people, how to get in front of those people, and specifically not just like how to get in front of people and how to build your audience, but most importantly is how to get a percentage of those people paying you money because what's the point of doing all this if you can't take care of yourself, right? So what I'm going to share with you here are the two ways to get clients. And there's only two ways, categorically speaking, how I'm gonna you know, build it out here. You have the free way and you have the paid way. Now, I, I want, I'm just using those definitions from a, from a monetary perspective, okay? So free in terms of it's not gonna cost you anything on the surface. Uh, and then obviously there's on the surface, it's gonna cost me a little bit to get clients. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here's how this is going to go. I'm going to give you a couple options of what most people are doing, and then I'll show you what other people like our clients are doing. And I'll just kind of paint the difference for you. So we have the freeway. <clears throat> so we look at things like posting on social media. So let's just look at that as an example. So posting on Instagram, and you know, like it drives me bonkers, these videos that we're all posting on TikTok and Instagram, the voiceovers, the pointing. I, I don't know why I have an issue with it. I don't know why I have an issue with it. And it just, I, I don't know. I see a lot of amazing health professionals and I'm like, you're resorting to this unless you really love doing it. Like really, like, you know, but listen, I'm not here to judge, but we all do, right? So anyways, you have that version. Like I'm just gonna post stuff on Instagram and I'll just give you a real story of a new client that just came on board with us. Um, doing well, you know, about 10K months, et cetera, but that was her ceiling. She couldn't get beyond that. And the reason is because well, she's got a couple thousand followers on Instagram and everything that she does is based on her manual labor, her manual output. So if she wants to get more exposure, if she wants to get more clients, she has to like post more often, be on the DMs more often. And it's a, it's a time, it's a time investment. So although monetarily it costs nothing, it actually costs the most because it's your time. And if you're someone who values your time, hopefully what I'm sharing with you here is going to make a lot of sense. Because successful people understand that money is cheap and time is expensive. If you've got kids, if you have things you wanna do in life, uh, hopefully you'll realize that. Because you can always make more money. You can always get your money back. You can always you know, have returns monetarily, but you can't make more time. And I really want you to let this sink in, okay? If I'm sharing this message and you've heard it before, I'm sharing it again with you because it's important. We, are, we have to be reminded more than we need to be taught. If you've watched all my videos, like you're gonna kind of know what I'm talking about. You're gonna kind of get an essence of, okay, here's where he, go, here he goes again. But the reason I'm going on this again is because burnout is the number one problem that health professionals face. If you're a coach, if you're a health practitioner, in no world are you able to scale a business that is reliant on your time. If you're hands-on, time, whatever it is, you can't scale that. Like you will hit a plateau, maybe it's 10K a month, and you think that's awesome. Great, well, you take a week off and what happens? You don't get paid, right? And your clients don't get helped. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I had a, just, just a quick note on this. I had someone just mentioned like, hey, we call them patients, not clients. I'm like, listen, dude, um, I call them clients because clients actually take ownership of their own journey. Patients just kind of lay there and expect things to be done to them. So that's just, you know, as an aside. So we have the freeway, right? We, have, we can post stuff all day on social media. We can, and this, you know, writing content, blog posts, videos uh, like this right now, like you can post them on YouTube, on TikTok, you know, in a Facebook group, Facebook Live, all of this stuff has its place, but the reason I do this stuff is two, threefold. Number one, <clears throat> I love sharing content. Number two, I do not rely on this content in the slightest to generate any business for us. 
And number three is that I just see a lot of people make mistakes and I don't want you to make mistakes because I would rather you get results faster than suffer like I did for so many years. So I, I just want you to know, like I am a big proponent of the second option of what I'm about to share with you, but I'm also a major, major, major flag bearer for content marketing 10 years down the road, not today. So why do I create so much content? Because I love it. And I think that's what most of us experts love doing. But the thing is when you rely on the content or your posting to generate business for you now, especially if you don't have a large following, that's where you get into some really sticky stuff, okay? That's where you start to panic. That's where you start to not sleep well at night because you're like, how am I gonna get clients? Because the number one danger we all face in business is obscurity. And that's why you have these, these, these young girls on Instagram taking their clothes off or on TikTok and like, are you serious? Like, this is how badly you want attention. This is what it gets to you guys. Like, this is how bad it's gotten, right? And that's not going to change. That's just human nature. We're drawn to, you know, entertainment more than education, sex more than whatever. So that's just the way it is. But you don't have to play that game. Nor, I mean, I don't think you want to. But you have to understand this. You have to look in the mirror. And maybe the mirror is your bank account. And if you're like, well, it's not all about money. Well, it kind of is if you're running a business. And remember that money is only a reflection of the impact you're making. So if you say you want to impact people's lives and you're not making any money, you're not impacting people's lives. Oh, like I help everyone for free. No, you don't. They're not doing anything with the free stuff, right? Nothing. People pay attention when they pay. The more they pay, the more they pay attention, right? It's not rocket science. So you have the free way of doing things which is largely based around social slash content marketing. And I think it is the smartest thing to do, to be honest, for the long, the long term, because it builds your brand equity. It puts you in the marketplace. It shows, it helps you market. So the better you market, the less you have to sell, as I talked about before, you know, many times. But the challenge is that no one sees your stuff, right? Nobody sees your stuff. 2% of your followers are gonna see anything you post, right? If you can resonate with this, just give me an amen in the comments below. Because there's nothing worse than spending all your time sharing your magic and then no one sees it. It is downright depressing. And that's the state of the union. That's the world we live in. Unless you have a massive following that is highly engaged, everything you post is gonna go largely unnoticed by most people who follow you. Okay, so how do we solve this problem? We have to become less obscure. So how do we, how do we, come, how do we become less obscure? Well, we basically enter into a relationship, a barter agreement, if you will, with Facebook. And we say to Facebook, okay, Facebook, I have this message I wanna put in front of my people. You have 3 billion users. All of the people I ever wanna serve for the next 100 lifetimes are using your platform and Instagram. Facebook owns Instagram, okay? 3 billion users. Let's say you have 5,000 followers on Instagram. You post something and if you're lucky, 100 people like it, right? So you're like, well, I'm not gonna get very far doing business like this. So you go to Facebook and you say, okay, Facebook, here's the deal. I'm gonna give you 20 bucks a day. And Facebook is like, cool, we're gonna show your message to this many people, right? And that could be whatever it is, 1,000 people a day, whatever it is. And here's the thing is like, you can't just like boost the post or run an ad with, without a pipeline. This is where your perfect client pipeline comes in, which is a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad to a webinar. And from the webinar, people who are qualified and ready to move forward book a call to speak with you. This is the system that we work with and help our clients build. It sounds simple and it is very simple, but there are tiny little details along the way that make it work or not. So usually when people try to figure things out themselves, they're like, oh, this doesn't work. It's like, well, it's because you don't know how to do it, right? So. Anyways, so we tell Facebook, okay, Facebook, here's 20 bucks. Facebook's like, cool, I'll show it to this many people. And this many people come into your pipeline, a couple people opt in, they watch, a couple people book a call. And you rinse and repeat, you keep doing that. You look at your numbers, and you're like, okay, cool. Uh, that one didn't work, I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, I'll set up another ad and, and test that out. And then you do this, and then eventually, you, or, or right away in some cases, you start seeing some great traction. You're like, hold on, if I give Facebook 20 bucks, I get leads in for $2, 
that's pretty awesome. What if I gave Facebook 30 bucks or 40 bucks or 50 bucks? Now I see more and more, my stuff gets shown to more and more people. So this is how you beat obscurity, is you pay your way to the top. You pay to play. And in case you've been living under a rock, in order to be successful in business, you have to pay to play. If you think you're gonna grow a great business for free, you're crazy. I'm just, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. You're delusional. It's not gonna happen. Well, like if, if, I, if you have a really good business, it's all gonna be word of mouth and free. Okay, <clears throat> let's, see how that, let's see how that does online. Maybe a brick and mortar clinic, but not online. No one's seeing your website. No one's seeing your stuff. Okay, the algorithm is not working in our favor. No one sees my stuff, which is why I advertise. I spend a ridiculous amount of money every single day advertising on Facebook. And the reason I do that is because it works and we're profitable. And why would I not do it? It's the fastest way to go from anywhere you are to where you want to go, right? If you're starting at zero, like most of our clients are, when I say zero, I mean like not that they're making zero, but they're coming in, in some cases, they don't have a website. They don't, they're not really tech savvy. They don't understand how to run Facebook ads. So they're starting at zero. Many of them don't even have a social following or an email list. So let me ask you this. If you're in that situation where you have like your friends and family on your email list and that's it, what's the game plan? How are you getting leads into your email? Again, are you gonna grind away and post every day? Okay, how many people are seeing those posts? A small percentage. How many people from those posts are actually gonna do anything and opt in for whatever it is you're offering? An even smaller percentage. When you break down the math, it's very simple. Most people are not gonna get anywhere other than if it's word of mouth. And that happens just haphazardly, you have no control over it. And if you can't control something, you can't scale something. And if you have no control over your business, it's not a business, it's a job or it's a side hustle. And that's fine. And it, listen, it's okay to be honest because I was a disaster for the first three years of my business. I had no clue what I was doing. So I'm sharing all this with you based on the journey of 17 years in business, okay? And helping thousands of practitioners generate $217 million and growing every single day. And helping hundreds of thousands of people to better health, right? That's, that's what this is all about. It's about being able to reach people so you can help them. And you should get paid handsomely for doing that. So on the paid traffic side, you can scale that to whatever level you want. And a lot of people are like, well, like, I don't want to run ads because what if I lose money? Well, what if you don't? What if you don't do this? What else are you going to do? You're going to keep using your time and sweat equity to build up the social and the content. And maybe at some point it's going to work. I get it, like, I get it. I understand there's fear. There's, and I'm not saying you should advertise if you don't know what you're doing. But what I'm gonna suggest to you is if you take your business seriously, you should invest, number one, in your own education, like get some coaching, get some mentorship, follow a system that works so that you actually know what you're doing. Second is all of your Facebook ads are thrown onto a credit card. Well, you're real, I, like, I follow Dave Ramsey, I don't wanna go into debt. Fuck Dave Ramsey, right? The reality, guys, is if you want to grow a business, you have to grow your top line. The only way to grow your top line is that your bottom line or your expenses are growing, sorry. So if you want to grow the top line, your expenses have to go up. If you want to make $10,000, well, you might only have to spend, I don't know, 500 bucks in ads, $1,000 in ads, $2,000. If you want to make a million dollars, you're going to have to spend more in ads. And then eventually at some point in the future, you can maybe not do that if you want because you've got so much goodwill and word of mouth and traction online that it's just taken on a life of its own. But that takes a long time. I'm not talking about a year or two. I'm talking about like 10, 15, 20, 30 years. But even then, why would you want to stop advertising? Um, I had a, a lady just send me a message on Instagram. She's like, I've been in the wellness industry for seven years. How have I not heard about you until now? And this is, again, this is what I'm talking about. Like for the past seven plus years, I've been advertising to health professionals. And yet some of them still don't see my stuff. Probably a lot of them still don't see my stuff. Just imagine all the people out there that are not seeing your stuff if you're not advertising. And just consider how many more people are still not seeing your stuff if you are advertising until you're at a point where you're spending millions of dollars a day, which you don't have to do. So there's more people than you will ever be able to serve in a lifetime, but you're certainly not gonna find a lot of them by posting organically and hoping that now they're all gonna come in. They might come in five, seven, 10 years down the road. And so keep doing that for the long haul. But if you need to cover expenses, pay the bills, build financial stability now, you need a system 
that you can put a dollar in and get two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, ten in return. And the smartest way of doing that is learning how to master paid traffic. Paid traffic, again, it's simply a barter system with Facebook. Hey, Facebook, here's a hundred bucks. Facebook's like, cool, we'll send you traffic. And then your messaging has to be dialed in, your funnel has to be dialed in so you can get that traffic to convert. And that's what we help our clients do. And you don't need a social following. You don't need a, you don't need a website. That's like, a, like you just need a couple pages built out into a pipeline or a funnel and you're off to the races. But again, it has to be done properly, like with anything. Why doesn't a social post work and someone else's does? Well, I mean, there's a lot of factors, but maybe the messaging is better in one than the other. So the two ways to grow a business, guys, are for free, but you have to use your time and sweat equity, or paid, which is what I would consider smart entrepreneurs do, which is where you're leveraging a system and you're leveraging money. And when I talked about using a credit card, I want to be very clear about this. If you are uneasy using credit, you should go work for someone else. Because if you believe in yourself, you'll find a way to pay it back. And we're not, ta- we're not like, you know, so many health professionals will drop like 100, 200, 300 grand on schooling. And they get into all this debt and they come out and they spend the next 10 years paying that off. It's insane. And then they expect to build their business for free. Like it's delu- It's crazy. Like it's delusional. And again, I share this from like a, a place of like, this fucking pisses me off. But at the same time, I really, really want to help because I, I know I can, right? But at the same time, you have to be open and willing to do things that make you uncomfortable. And you have to believe in yourself. Like the number one thing we look at when we, t- when we start working with a new client is you have to be friggin' good at what you do because we're amazing at what we do. And we can't help you become a really great health coach or a health practitioner or whatever it is. You have to be that already because when push comes to shove and you have those days where you start to doubt yourself or you have people on the phone who say no or it's too expensive or I need to think about it and you don't have the resolve to keep going or you don't have the confidence to command premium prices, none of this is gonna work. Confidence and expertise is number one. Everything else is figure outable. Everything else is a learnable skill that we can help you with. So you have to understand you've already done the hard work. And if you've done medical school or whatever, like professional school, and you've done the hard work, the rest of this stuff is going to be a drop in the pan relative to that. You don't need to go to school for 10 more years. We're talking about commit the next 12 months to building the skills and systems that will free you up for life. For life. I'm not saying set it and forget it. This isn't the George Foreman grill. But going back to the credit card example, when you put, let's say, $1,000 a month on your Facebook ads, that's going to be using a credit card. That's what Facebook uses to charge you. Okay, cool. So in that process, you might generate a few thousand leads or a few hundred leads, and you might enroll one client for two or three or four or $5,000. So you make that money, you pay off your credit card, and you rinse and repeat. Makes a lot of sense. Why don't more people do it? Well, they don't know how, so don't do it. Learn how. Number two is they're afraid. What if I don't enroll anyone? Well, take out a 0% credit card for the next 12 months. Throw thousands of dollars on it. Seriously, this is what I did when I hired my first coach. $18,000 that I didn't have was more money than I made the previous year. And I threw it on my credit card. And I knew I had to do it because I wasn't getting anywhere doing my own stuff for free and grinding away 20 hours a day and making $6,000 a year. It was ridiculous, right? So there comes a point where you have to invest in yourself. You have, like, when you don't invest in your business, you're essentially saying, I don't believe in myself. If you invest in your business, you're saying, I'm, I'm willing to place the biggest bet ever on myself. Even if you had to invest $100,000 in coaching, throw it on your credit card. It's 0% interest for 12 months. You think you're going to find a way to make that back? You will be motivated like never before. But when there's no skin in the game, well... What's the worst that happened? What's the worst, you know, no big deal, right? Doesn't work out, no big deal. And I know this is, very, this is a very unpopular point of view. Well, like I don't want to go into debt. I don't want to have credit. I'm not talking about buying shoes. I'm not talking about buying stupid stuff. I'm talking about investing in skills, investing in education that's actually usable, not going to school and getting another degree that's useless. I'm talking about build the skills that will build your wealth, build the skills that will help you help more people. And you have to invest 
either your time, you're going to watch YouTube videos for the rest of your life. Seriously, invest in mentorship to accelerate that journey. Invest in coaching to get faster results. Our promise for our clients is you'll get five to seven years of results in 12 months. It's that simple. There's a reason we don't sell $97 products because they don't work. You think I'm going to like get someone to buy something and then like they figure it out on their own. It doesn't work. I've been at this game long enough to understand that we all need coaching, accountability, and, and like daily check-ins, daily accountability, daily, like you need a community of people who are on the same journey and, and help you get there. So anyways, I know this is going, I'm going like way off on tangents on this one, but all of this to say that if you want to get clients, the fastest way to get clients, I'm talking about clients like tomorrow, next week, next month, not five years down the road, is you have to master paid traffic. If you don't understand this, you're majorly behind the eight ball. And if you want to learn how to do it, well, let me know because we're the best in the world at doing this with health professionals. So that's of interest to you. And by the way, we have some really great strategies too to help you amplify what you're doing organically on social. So if you do have an email list, if you do have a following, well, we you know might be able to help you make tens of thousands of dollars like we have with many of our clients very quickly who had an existing following on social. So anyways, if that's of interest to you, just drop me a comment below. We'll have a quick chat, see if it's a good fit. Um, but I, listen, listen, I'm not here to pitch you anything. I could care less. I'm here to serve you. I want to just kind of like get you thinking differently. Um, if you've enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button wherever it is so you don't miss any more videos coming your way. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your time and attention. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.